Hey, this is Jeff with Mills RV, and I'm here to answer your question, what makes a teardrop a teardrop? Before we get started, please do me a favor, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell to see all the new content coming out, like and comment below. Let us know what are the questions you want answered. So again, what makes a trailer a, a teardrop a teardrop versus a regular trailer? That's basically the question. So predictably, it is the shape. So these you can see both behind me are shaped with that teardrop look, curved front end, a sloping back end. These are both considered teardrops. Now you'll see there's a big difference in size. This is a more traditional teardrop and the more traditional teardrop, all the functions of camping are mostly outside. On the big one, there's more of an inside, more like a traditional travel trailer. So why would you choose a teardrop versus a regular trailer? Well, the key is weight. Uh, it really, these are vehicles are designed for your non-towing type vehicles. So my Jeep Wrangler, 3,500 pound tow capacity, minivans, 3,000 pound tow capacity. Even when you go to the traditional teardrop, you can tow with a 2,000 pound towing capacity because these weigh under 1,500 pounds. So under 1,500 pounds for the traditional teardrop. And then our Bushwhackers, the uh, 17 foot is under um, GVWR, under 3,000 pounds, like 2,800. Um, excuse me, the base weight, dry weight under 3,000 and then the full weight around 3,500 pounds. So you've got the ability to tow it with very small vehicles. The 15 foot of the tall one of the Bushwhacker Plus, it actually weighs under 2,500 pounds, like 22 and 2,300 pounds, depending on the options and, and which floor plan. But very, very lightweight vehicles that you can tow with a minivan, you can tow with even some cars and be able to go camping without having to upgrade your tow vehicle. That's a big reason people choose a teardrop versus a traditional travel trailer is the weight and the ability to go camping now, not having to wait till you can afford to upgrade to a pickup truck or a big SUV or something like that. Let's take a closer look at the regular teardrop and then we'll take a look at the teardrop plus. Okay, so the basic question, what makes a teardrop a teardrop versus maybe regular travel trailer? Well, it's really just the shape. Uh, teardrops can come in many different sizes. What's right behind me in the regular Bushwhacker is a traditional teardrop. Let's look at one of a couple of the features and particularly one really different one that distinguishes it from a regular full-size travel trailer. Okay, so in your traditional teardrop, obviously you can see, as I close this rear hatch, you can see the traditional, like a teardrop shape, but the traditional teardrop is going to have the kitchen outside in the backpack here. And that's definitely one of the big differences. So inside, we literally, it's full bed on a regular teardrop. So you've got sleeping for two people, um, this particular unit does have air conditioning, so you can use it in the summer. Um, it's got lights inside. It has a water hookup for the sink back here in the back. Um, so it gives you those options as well. But a traditional, it is still a regular travel trailer, but in this, your kitchen is moved outside. So in a regular teardrop, kitchen is going to be along the back end, on the outside of it. Inside is pretty much just for sleeping. It's not tall enough to stand, and there's not really any sitting area other than leaning up against the back wall, maybe reading a book or something like that. But with a traditional teardrop, almost all of your camping is gonna be done outside other than sleeping. With the teardrop or plus, the, the Bushwhacker Plus, you're gonna see it's a little different. Let's go take a look. Okay, now that we've seen a more traditional teardrop, this is one of the newer styles, and you could actually call it maybe a teardrop plus. Um, they're still considered teardrops because of the shape, but you'll notice one of the big differences, the height. So on the teardrop, the height is usually just over six feet, these run closer to nine, eight and a half feet or so, but typically will still fit in a regular size carport. So if you want to park it inside in a carport or extra boat garage, you can park a teardrop there where you're not going to be able to park a regular travel trailer. One of the other differences that helps with the overall height is that instead of having a roof air conditioner, most of the teardrops will have more like a window unit. It still cools in, uh, the vehicle very well. You don't have as much space, so you don't need the bigger capacities of a rooftop AC, and you don't add that extra 14 inches of clearance that you needed for a roof air conditioner, so a big difference. But the other thing that is different from what we looked at in the Bushwhacker with the Bushwhacker Plus is the fact that I can do this. I can come inside. And it is rocking more than normal right now. I do not have the rear jacks down here, which is a stabilizing feature. Just showing you, and we have them a lot. We don't usually put them down. But this is one of the two 17-foot floor plans we have in the Bushwhacker Plus. We also have a 15-foot floor plan. This particular one is called the BH, and it stands for bunkhouse. So the 17BH has two front bunk beds, and they're easily big enough for kids. Uh, shoot, you could almost put two little kids up here. 
Uh, and then in the back, the dinette area makes another bed as well. So this unit can sleep, can sleep six people very, or four people very comfortably, six if you have small kids. Um, but inside, in fact, I'm in here, I'm standing up. We still have the fantastic fan, which is great for ventilation, allows me to open the side windows and get great cross flow when it's not that hot outside. I have a, the air conditioner when it is really hot and I need some AC. Um, I do have a furnace so I can heat the inside of the vehicle during the winter. I have my interior kitchen with sink, a small LP gas uh, refrigerator, which does give me the ability to keep my food cold and frozen. And then I have, in this case, what's called a wet bath. What a wet bath is, is that means that the toilet is inside the space where you're also going to shower. Now that seems a little bit awkward. It's very, very common in B vans and small trailers like this because it double uses the space. Uh, it still allows you to shower, but you have your bathroom for the toilet as well. So inside also, again, you'll just have the ability to eat in here, to spend more time. So with a traditional bushwhacker where all of your camping is pretty much done outside other than sleeping, in here, it allows you to actually do a little more inside. So you do have uh, a dinette area where you can sit and eat, but you also can sit and rest. If the weather is uh, bad outside, it gives you a little more space in here to come in and get out of the weather, but still be able to enjoy camping versus just laying down. One of the big differences to the traditional versus the plus size on the teardrops. So that's the difference between a teardrop, what makes a teardrop a teardrop versus a regular trailer. We've looked at a traditional teardrop and a teardrop plus, give you some questions, hopefully maybe some questions about which one fits your needs better. And then there's one big question that Gracie always has here, Gracie the office dog, when do we get to go camping? Well, that's what we're here for, to help you enjoy the journey. Give us a call and we'll figure it out when we can get you camping. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you have other questions you want to answer and if you have nothing else to do, watch one of these videos here. Subscribe so you know when more are coming out. Have a great day and enjoy the journey.